Hi guys, so this is a new video um, of DC uh, Universe Online, a loadout video. Something a little different on the weekend, since uh, I'm always doing the reviews and the news um, segment uh, on weekends. This weekend will be a little bit different. We're going to have a little bit uh, different content, which is a new loadout I've created. Uh, it will be actually four loadouts that I've created um, for you guys to enjoy uh, playing uh, gadgets without breaking your fingers. Um, as you might know, um, people like uh, Obsidian Chill and other uh, YouTubers uh, out there that, that uh, are players of DC um, gave out the Huber um, loadouts that do extensive massive da damage on on everything but either you play it on a pc and you have everything on uh, keystrokes or if you play on the playstation 4 you're going to break your hand sooner or later because it's so many powers and uh, you have to clip all the powers which means you're going to have to dodge the animation of that power in order to launch another power and then another power and then another power. Uh, that it takes the fun away from playing gadgets gadgets will be just a damage machine nothing more and it, that's not how this game is supposed to be played this game is supposed to be played consistently seeing what the animators actually created so here's my loadout um, which is very similar to the loadout that I've created for, um, uh, f for on, on the video of uh, munitions. So here it is. For now, let's just take care of the inventory. As you can see, I'm not top notch anymore. I'm not uh, top armor yet uh, because I, I took a little bit of a pause in the game. Um, and here's the um, artifact loadout that you guys should have. Uh, first artifact, of course, transformation card in order to get the critical chance and the critical magnitude attacks. Um, strategist card, which amplifies damage critical. Uh, and also um, you can use this all with healer and uh, with, of course, uh, controller. And the Lamorte card. Now, the Lamorte card empowers without um, much of a hassle or um, damage returning to you, will empower your finishing attack. Okay? I could use uh, another um, artifact here, which would be. Not sure if I have it here on the inventory or not. Uh, potentially is in my bank. I could use the uh, artifact that actually um, every normal power that you launch, you take a little bit of damage back, and then you have to to hit them with the finisher in order to get that life back. Um, don't remember really the the name of the artifacts. There's so many, uh, but. Um, I get the feeling that you guys will remember which one I'm talking about. Um, as I think it's Linnaeus Charm or something like that. Uh, anyways, I'm dropping that one a little bit on this uh, loadout because um, taking damage back on a, an elite raid, yeah, that's doing the bosses a favor. Um, so let's drop that a little bit. So let's go on to here so hint, uh, on the uh, trinkets uh, what I have is uh, ultraviolet uplink device you can catch this by killing the um, the chaos boss on uh, doomed metropolis the henchman of course ultraviolet lanterns same boss different drops uh, uh, the supply drop any old supply supply drop will do and the Brainiac turret tier 3. You can take any other turrets tier 3 in order to do the max damage that you can. 
and let's go to the loadout itself. So, for this first loadout, uh, which I call the Batman loadout, what I have is a Gauss Grenade, Cryo Foam, and Sticky Bomb. Now, these three are a combination. And I'm going to explain what type of combination it is. So, first you electrify your enemy, then you launch the Cryo Foam and it this... Um, Electrified enemies will take extra damage, which means the impact of this power does extra damage, and then it leaves um, damage over time of burning. So uh, you're constantly taking um, a lot of uh, damage uh, to the boss. Sticky Bomb will interact with these two. Why? Because electrified and frostbitten or burning enemies will take extra damage so uh, and it detonates it can actually stun them now we have the case of these two so you're going to make extra damage because these two are in effect fourth power will be the finisher photon blast of course um, uh, if the target is uh, below 35% of health, they take an extra damage. Now, on this one, I'm using the Battle Display, which empowers your attacks and deals additional damage. This is just a, a power and uh, weapon um, additional damage d uh, buff for yourself. This does not affect other team members, though. If this is the only for you. Bunker Buster. Now, I could use also the um, Asphyxiation Gas, but, uh, you know, what the hell. I like seeing raining missiles. And this one actually can cause a little bit of uh, an issue, because it really concentrates the Asphyxiation Gas, and the visibility of the battlefield will be a little bit affected. So, be mindful using this one, but uh, you can use it whatever you're not going to lose your target if you are constantly um, pressing the targeting bu button shouldn't be a problem okay that's all for this one let's go to the next okay this is the Zack Snyder's uh, Batman uh, loadout let's call it like that um, as you can see, I forgot to apply a couple of skill points. Regardless to say, yeah, um, on the skill points, uh, focus super powered, critical attack chance, critical attack damage, and of course, might and power. Later on, you can start to build up your precision. Now, um... This is for all DPS uh, loadouts that I'm going to present. Slightly different artifact composition. So, um, transformation card for uh, obvious reasons. Strategist card, again for obvious reasons that I've already explained, and this one, Source Shard. Now, Source Shard uh, affects all the pets that you can launch um, and empowers them with one critical attack which does um, double the damage or, or even more of, the, of their common damage. So, um, this, is a, this is a must for this loadout because it combines pets. Okay. Be mindful that the only pet that it doesn't accept, and this is why I put it here for, in order to explain uh, you guys, um, this is this one. Gotham City Emergency Signal, in which if you're a villain, Joker will appear, or if you're a hero, Batman will appear. Now, um, this is very interesting to take because, you know, it's an extra add-on and uh, Batman appears next to you, which is always cool, but um, this pet is not affected by the um, effect of this 
artifact. It's the only one that isn't, by the way. Which means I'm going to have to replace them with any other henchman that I have. Let's try the civilian's henchman. Because I never tried this one before. So, let's go to the loadout before I start launching the um, loadouts for you guys to see. So, same three powers. Gauss Grenade, Cryofoam, Sticky Bomb. Fourth power will be the Suppressor Turret. Now, the Suppressor Turret's objective is to stay activated. Unlike the other loadouts you're going to see, in which they only activate the Suppressor tor Turret for the initial attack, and then uh, they jump from uh, stealth back to normal, the uh, Suppressor Turret is destroyed, because it's not on the loadout. Now, that is very interesting, because that's a useless thing to have in stealth. However, it belongs to their loadout, and if they say it does extra damage, then it does extra, extra damage. Regardless, that's not how the game is supposed to be played, and this is not a power that you deactivate at your convenience. Well, it, it is at your convenience, but the objective of the Suppressor Turret is to actually help you in combat, so leave it on. Um, and because this is affected by the uh, Source Shard um, artifact. Godwave Strength. Now, you have to have the uh, Source um, Shard artifact equipped in order for this to appear here on the uh, loadout menu. Okay, This is actually belonging to that arf artifact. Use the power of the Source Shard to increase the damage of, of affected pets by 200% for 5 seconds. So, um... As for the uh, supercharge, yeah, Bunker Buster or Sophistication Gas, uh, pick your poison, it's the same. So, um, I'm going to just launch this loadout for you guys to see. So, let's first bring out our, our um, pet, main pet, which is the... Uh, turret here and let's do this I'm going to launch all the pets okay this one and this one and now watch the effect of source shard perhaps this one wasn't really correct what the hell are they doing well, I've never used them because, yeah, they run the other direction. Bloody cowards! Come back! I'm doing a loadout video, morons. Oh. Okay. Uh, should have tested this before. Apologize for this. Uh, regardless, as you can see, uh, or not, yeah, civilians is stupid. They just move around. This is Ap April's Fool's joke. Yeah, this is... Oh, God. Really? <laughs> Let's just take the um, Red Lanterns. Okay. This should have worked, but um, as you can see, this white glow shimmers a little bit on the suppressor turret. That means for one attack it does 200% more damage. This happens for the uh, Brainiac turret and for your henchmen as well. They're all affected by this. They all do extra damage, okay? Also, if you launch this one, your sidekick... It's really not affected because... Well, I, I think it's not affected because the Shimmer doesn't appear. Um, some people say it's affected, some people say it's not affected. Um, I would have to see the combat logs to see if it was or not affected, but... Um, I don't have this um, sidekick at max level. The sidekicks that I use are um, combat uh, Flashpoint Batman for damage. Cyborg for 
uh, receive bonus to passive power recovery during combat and Nubia because uh, executing a block counter heals yourself and nearby allies by a percentage of uh, uh, life so that's it for this loadout for the uh, Zack Snyder um, Justice League loadout so let's go first to the, the Batman loadout so I can actually show you guys what's what so first gauss grenade cryo foam sticky grenade the finisher photon blast and battle display as you can see with the battle display my damage is a little bit better especially the finisher then you can hit him multiple times still with the battle display connected on so, as you can see, it's a very effective uh, little buff that uh, most people ignore or choose to ignore. So, let's move on to Batman v Superman um, loadout. This is identical in every way except this. Instead of the um, battle display I've ignored battle display and put another damage as you can see I forgot to put here this is as well I don't w use these uh, loadouts all that much um, on the day-to-day -day, uh, doing the daily missions and stuff like that I usually use just uh, the Batman um, loadout but um, you know, for shits and giggles, sometimes I take these ones and they work charms as well. They do very good damage. Of course, do not expect um, these damage outputs that you see here to be the top. Because as you can see, I'm not equipped with top level um, armor. And uh, let's see here the loadouts. So, gas grenade, cryofoam, sticky bomb, napalm grenade. This is the big change. It burns the enemies again, and of course, photon bl blast. Um, same supercharge, or you can change to asphyxiation gas. There, they are a uh, supercharge cost five thousand. Um, the asphyxiation uh, gas, but it takes a little bit less damage than the uh, bunker buster. As you can see, it's ten thousand this one. So, um, let's show you guys same artifact as the Batman um, loadout so transformation card and the other two cards La Morte and uh, why is what oh um, I forgot to, to uh, so you do gas grenade Cryo foam, sticky grenade, and then the napalm grenade, which, as you can see, uh, makes the uh, damage over time jump a lot more. Um, so uh, the artifacts, yeah, uh, transformation card, strat strategist card, and Lamorte card, same as the the Batman, and um, basically. Um, same loadout of Brainiac uh, Torrid Tier 3, Henchmen, Green Lanterns, and uh, uh, any old uh, uh, supply drop, and also the... Uh, j just take any old um, uh, or new uh, uplink device for the orbital bombardment, so... Um, it's here. It's a uh, Picker's Poison, there's so many, just pick one. Okay. That's it. That's it for the DPSs. So let's move on to the troller. Batman Beyond um, controlling loadout. Let's call it like this. Okay. Let's see. Be mindful that by mistake I've destroyed all my controlling artifacts a couple of weeks ago which was stupid of my part but and I'm still 
yeah, I'm still building these up. Uh, they were the same ones that I had before, but uh, I had uh, these ones a lot more evolved. Uh, Parasite's Power Harnessed. Strategist card for uh, power, uh, power Heal Critical. And, of course, Amulet of Rao. You're controlling deb debuffs are stronger. And the Parasites uh, hitting an enemy with a controlling debuff grants you and up to 7 group members uh, power equal to 6, 8, 9 or 10% of your vitalization. So, and precision equal to um, vitalization. So, it's a very useful artifact. As you can see, I'm not top-notch uh, troller. I don't play a lot of troller. Uh, I actually tested this loadout a lot more on the test server on the PC side, but it should work the same way on the PlayStation 4 or 5 um, loadout. So let's check check this out. Also, allies, same ones. Loadouts. So, defibrillator. Increase uh, weapon attack damage for you and up to three group members with the highest power percentage for a, s a short time, but it also revitalizes your um, group's three most fatigued members, restoring their power. So it's a group debuff, and it's um, it's a group debuff for their damage and uh, giving power to them as well. Sticky Bomb, which is a controller debuff, in cases uh, the uh, in case uh, enemies are detonated, by the way, and um, reduces the target's damage output. So this is to lower the damage of uh, the bosses or any other uh, targets that you have. Gauss Grenade, this reduces the target's defenses. It's the defense debuff, and the Cryo Foam. Um, reduces the target's ability to heal. Very useful for PvP. I use Distract in order to go and rescue other team members that are otherwise uh, defeated. As the um, supercharge, I use Battle Drone. Why? Because in controlling role, shields your allies, protecting them from incoming damage, and also revitalizes your group, all of them, uh, their power over time. Okay? Very important power. It's only a 5,000 supercharge cost, cost, so it actually will uh, be very useful for you guys. So I'll launch here. First, revitalize. Second, damage. Defense. Heal. Save people. And if you needed it, the um, the probe in order to shield your allies. Um, since you don't have the um, source shard, uh, what I'm using on the trinkets are uh, as follows. Just take any old supply drop, any old um, uh, uplink device for orbital bombardment. Uh, just take either your... Uh, yeah, don't take the these pieces of shit, the civilians. Yeah, don't... No, April Fools. Um, yeah, uh, no. Um, just take any old effective um, henchman. And I use just... Gotham City emergency signal in order for Batman to appear. Uh, Batman does one massive assault, which means one massive hit on your targets. And that's it. He, he goes away. It's written right there. CR level uh, 25 plus, your ally will damage all nearby targets. So he slams the ground and moves away. So, this, that's it for these four loadouts that I had to present today. Also, uh, I'm already building... Uh, uh, not here. Okay. So, I'm already building uh, what's called a battle troller. So, what do I have here is... 
I'm going to focus everything on vitalization first and then the remainder uh, stat points that I have I'll be equipping might and power. Why will I do that you may ask? Yeah, um, because power, uh, the controller can be a battle troller. You can have these same powers that you're launching to debuff do massive ja damage and help your fellow DPSs with that function of m doing massive damage. So I'm still not on point to do that, but I will be very soon. Um, I could do another video of um, update of this power very soon here on the channel. Um, by very soon, I'll, I'll by Christmas time because I always do um, videos whenever it's justified in order to uh, explain any changes that the um, power had. Gadgets had a lot of changes over the years. It's still a very fun power to play. Now, but those loadouts, I think they do a disservice to this uh, to this power. Uh, I like to see the animations. I don't have to. I, I mean, if I wanted to play Fortnite, I would go and play Fortnite where you're always jumping around. See, this is how you break the animations here in the game. You just jump. You're not on Fortnite. Okay. Oh, and I, enough of this ranting. Um, have fun guys, I'll see you on the next video, I hope you enjoyed this one. Just drop a like on the video, um, I'll see you all uh, next time. Subscribe to my channel if you like the videos, I do other types of videos on other MMOs as well. Um, perhaps by watching one of those videos you uh, will be inclined to test out those MMOs yourself. As always, stay safe, this is my form of gameplay. Your form of gameplay should be should be uh, different, so explore yourself a lot. That's what video games uh, allow you to do. And I'll see you all next time. Stay safe. And play on! <laughs>